the fourth example, um, I'm going to multiply these two numbers, 4.08 and 1.35. So 4 and 8 hundredths. Now again, when I multiply these decimals together, I am um, not, I'm just going to ignore my decimal point. So I'm just going to line up the numbers, just like I do when I multiply um, whole numbers. So this just happens to line up because they're same, there's the same number of numbers. So multiply this out. 8 times 5 is 40. 0 and 4. This is 20. And this is 24. 0, 2. This is 12 here. And this is 8, 0, and 4. I add them down. 0, this is 8, this is 10, 2, 4, 5, and this is also 5. Okay. So from here, after I multiply my two numbers, I'm going to look at the, the actual numbers that I multiplied, and I'm going to count how many numbers I have behind decimal points. So for this one, I have two numbers behind the decimal point, and here I also have two. So total I have behind the decimal points four numbers. Okay, so you look at just these two numbers that you multiply together. Okay. And I have four numbers total behind decimal points. So I go to my answer and I make sure that there's four numbers behind decimal point. And that's gonna help me place the decimal point. So um, one, two, three, four, there's four numbers. I'm place a decimal point right there. Okay. So since there's four numbers behind decimal points here, there has to be four numbers behind the decimal point in the answer. It's going to be 5.5080. Or this number, it's a zero at the end of a number behind the decimal point, so I can just drop it if I want. Or you can leave it, it doesn't matter. So um, it could be 5 and 508 thousandths. Okay. So either way, this can be the answer or this can be the answer. Okay, so uh, that's it for this lesson um, on multiplying decimals. Thank you for watching Educator.com.